Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. So <laughs> talk about being vulnerable right now, okay? I don't have a, well, I don't want to say I don't have a stitch of makeup on. I did put on a little bit of this lip. It's not really a gloss. I don't know. I mean, I'm not really sure what it is from Timu that I got because this video is going to be a try beauty product Timu haul, but I've already hauled this stuff. This is stuff that you guys have seen me haul in videos um, that are beauty related, makeup related, skincare related, and we're just going to test them out. We're going to see how they perform, how they look. A uh, little bit nervous about this because I the the foundation that I use or the skin uh, the makeup that I use I'm very <laughs> connected to and it's the right it's the perfect color for me so my problem with Timu makeup so far has been that I can't get the foundation part to match my skin so we're gonna try and work with it though and I'm gonna show you um, how I put on my makeup every day. Uh, because I do a very, very simplified type of makeup look, mainly using cream products, which I won't mention in this video, the brand, because I, I am, I do sell the makeup, so I don't want to, like, mention it in this video, because it's not from Timu. <laughs> By the way, this is not sponsored. I do not do a whole lot of Timu sponsored hauls. I, everything I buy, I buy on my own. Maybe I've done two, but that not really sponsored, because I've spent so much money on Timu that I, whatever... They've sent me, you know, I don't even bother with the influencer or the affiliate part. In fact, I think I'm getting away from that completely because my main thing with Timu, and I'm sorry to go off on this tangent, uh, my main thing with te doing Timu hauls is one, to show you the stuff that I buy on there, two, to let you know whether it's worth it or not, which is mainly what this, this <laughs> is about today is, are these products worth it? Are they worth your money? And that is the main concern because in this day and age, we need to make sure that we are, you know... Um, how do I want to say this? Using our money wisely because, let's face it, it's costing a lot of us money just to live. So I'm going to show you kind of how I match my foundation. And of course, none of this is probably going to match. I'm going to be honest with you because anything I bought up to this point does not match me. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to try and link some of the products down below, but because I've had this stuff for so long... I, I honestly, it'll take me forever to find the links, so, um, I'm, I, you know, I'm gonna try and link some stuff below, but, uh, I don't know, guys, like, it, it might take me a while, uh, so if the links aren't there when you're watching this, maybe check back, um, in a day or two. I'll try tonight and to go through at least the things that I like, um, so yeah, let's just get started. So, the first thing I thought we would try is this watermelon nourishing face milk um it says it's formulated with watermelon extract um leaving you nourished and smelling of fresh watermelon and this is what it looks like um so let's just i'm pumping it out just on my hand i'm, I'm only gonna use a little bit and then so it looks like this like a light pink cream it looks like it's got a little bit of shimmer to it but not really um, like I thought maybe it had like a glimmer to it, but I don't think so. I'm just going to put this all over my face and rub it in just to kind of get the skin moisturized because I'm, if just in case the makeup is like super drying or has a dry tendency, then I at least want it to be able to like slide over my skin, if you know what I mean. And I will tell you, my skin gets very, very red when I touch it. Um, it, I just have very sensitive skin. If I were to, like, rake my neck, like, honestly, my neck will probably be red because I can feel, like, my hair on my neck. So, sometimes even that alone will, like, my skin will, like, come alive. Also, if you have rosacea, let me give you this tip. Because sometimes I will get really red, like, through here mainly. Like, my cheeks and here and sometimes my chin, sometimes here. If you have problems with rosacea, this is going to sound weird, but I promise it works. Go to the baby section of, like, Walmart and buy one of those butt creams, like, the white butt cream for baby diaper rashes, and and put it on your face at night. And if you do that every night, it'll get rid of that redness. I know it sounds super weird, but that's just something. Anyway, I wanted to try this, too, and I'm just going to put it underneath my eyes. Um, it's a instant tighten and lift. And I thought, well, hmm. It says you can use it for eyes, forehead, and neck. Aims, the, aims to the appearance of sagging skin, facial wrinkles, and expression lines. Um, so I just thought we'd use it around the eyes. 
and I'm sorry I have to keep, keep taking my glasses on and off. And I'm sorry, I didn't even show you guys what this looked like, but it looks like this. I think when I got this, I actually ended up getting two. And someone said, I remember someone in my comments saying they actually use it. Okay, let's see if we can get it out. Oh, it's like a clear, it's a clear liquid. That's kind of odd. But I'm just going to tap this on around my eyes and see. Well, actually, let's do a little bit right here, too, because I have... I would love to get these lines right here getting oh by the way let me just say <laughs> I'm 50 I'll be 51 this year I do not use a whole lot of powder makeups mainly because and I, I and by the way I'm not trying to focus this towards anyone with mature skin but um I find that now with the way my skin is um so first of all let me just say the watermelon stuff got went right into my skin this is feeling a little bit tacky, but maybe we'll let it dry here a little bit. Um, the older I got, the more I realized I needed to use cream makeup products because cream makeup products will not sit in your fine lines and wrinkles. They tend to move with your skin. So if you're experiencing a lot of makeup sitting in your wrinkles, one, you're either using too much makeup or two, it's because you're using a foundation and a powder and a bunch of other powders like powder blush. Powder this, powder that, powdering your face. Quit powdering your face. I never powder my face, ever. I've come to like a more dewy kind of natural look complexion. Um, so yeah, okay, this is dried down. So I'm going to show you kind of some of the face makeup I have. I have a mirror over here, but I kind of want to test the colors for one thing. Um, I got this foundation from Timu, and I I know I've showed this before. I got it, I don't even know if I can tell you what the color number is because it probably isn't on here. It just says Gela's. There isn't a color number that I can see, but the bottle's really nice. Um, and then we're gonna try this little doodad here. It's like a pot of three different colors. I'm hoping that I can either mix some of these, and then I have two concealers. And these concealers um, might be able to work as foundations. I got one in Fair and one in Light Natural. But what I'm trying to do is come the closest to my natural skin. And like I said, a lot of this stuff just hasn't come close to my skin. I'll tell you how I color match myself. So here's the bottle first. We're probably going to end up wiping this off. But I like to just put stuff on my skin. And as you can see, that's very light. You can see it on your skin. How you know something is your color is when you can't see it at all. It's not dark, it's not orange, it's not anything. You just can't even see it. So let's try like a color out of here. I'm gonna take, let's see, let's take the darkest color first. So there's the darkest color. Now see how you can barely see that. So that's probably actually a good match for me. And that would be this shade right here. So I'm thinking that might be what we're gonna use. Let's try these. So maybe I'll even bring you in a little bit closer here. This was the bottle. This was from the, the darkest shade up here in this three pan. This one is the, hold on, let me get my glasses. This one is going to be the light natural. And like I said, these are concealers, but whatever. Here's light natural. Again, super duper light. Here is the fair one. Again, super duper light. Okay, so if you can see the makeup sitting on your skin, if it's too light, this is not your color. A lot of people mistake that. Now, this color that's right here, see how you can barely see it on my skin? That's my color. Because one thing you don't want to do is be able to see your foundation on your skin. It needs to be the same color or actually a, little, a shade darker is honestly a good a better thing for you to be than a shade lighter. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use this guy right here for foundation. So since it's like in a pot, what I'm also gonna do is we're gonna try some, these are contours and, contours and bronzing pens, I guess you could say. So let, let me show you these. So here's, this is very much like a Tarte product. So there's that color. It's definitely like a bronze kind of shade. Um, and here's that product. I don't even know if you can see it very well. It says Vibelly, V-I-B-E-L-Y, multifunction cream makeup. And it's in the color 04. 
So that's what it looks like. It's very much a bronzer. And then I also bought these sticks. They came three. You get like the highlighter, the contour, and the uh, contour and a bronzer. So the difference between a contour and a bronzer is one is cool and one is warm. The cool tones will be the um, contour, the bronzer shades. Now this is a cool tone, so I'm going to put that over there so I know which ones are cool and which ones are not okay that's a cool tone i'm going through these sticks seeing which one's which and then i'm going to show you guys okay so you got whenever these came they came three in a pack you got like a highlighter a contour and a bronzer in each one and i think these are different gosh i hope they look different okay so on my skin here you can see these two middle shades they're they're cool tone so that's your con that would be your contour these two outer shades are your bronzer, and these are highlighter shades. So, I am not going to use a contour today because I usually do not. I'm more of a bronzer type of gal to warm my face back up. Um, and then I usually use some type of highlighter where I need to. So, next, this is what we're going to do. So, this is how I do my makeup. Now, of course, I do not use Timu products every day. I use a different brand every day, but we're going to try and use these products. So I'm going to take a swatchy swatch of this makeup. I'm just taking like a swatch of that palette out, this one. I took a little divot of that out because that's what I'm going to use as my foundation. And then I am going to use these bronzer sticks somehow or we might use this one either way. Maybe we'll do one on each side because we'll see how they perform. But first... Let's take this, and what I also like to do is I don't layer my makeup, and by that I mean, do you know how usually you'll take your bottle of foundation, you put it all over your face, you take your blush and you put it over top of that, you take highlighter, it goes on top of that. I don't like to do that. I only like to put the makeup where it's going to be at, and then, so there's one layer. Now, sometimes I'll overlap, but I don't like to. So here's a brush I got from Timu. It's kind of like a foundation brush. Really nice brush. Um, we're going to use that quite a bit. So I'm just going to take this foundation cream on my finger. Now where I would put foundation would be here. I'm going to highlight here and brown, bronzer is going to be kind of be here. So in this area is where I want my foundation to be. Down here, around here, maybe here. And that's actually a really nice color for me to be quite honest with you. So that's where my... That's where my foundation's gonna be. Right in that area, right? Okay, so then we're gonna take a bronzer. Now I'm gonna do, let's do this product on one side so you can see what I do with my bronzer. So when I, I put all my makeup on at one time. So let's put this bronzer over here. I probably need to squirt some more of this out without it puffing all over the place. So I put it here and I go upwards with this Let's see if that helped. You want to always bring your makeup in an upward fashion. And then I'll usually put a little bit right here to get rid of my little bitty of a jowl there. And then we're going to slim down the forehead up there. Okay, there's that product. That the Oh, shoot. Yeah, this product is really hard to use. Look at it like going all over the place. Like maybe I'm just not using it right. I don't know. The more I squish it, the more it makes a mess. So hate that. Just being honest. Um, and then, so let's go on this side, we'll use these. And this is a bronzing, a bronzer too. And of course, it's going to be a different color. But again, I like to sweep it up. You do not want to bring your bronzer. We'll put a little bit on the nose here too. I like to bronze up the nose. You do not want to bring your bronzer past here, ever. It'll end up looking muddy in here and weird. Don't do that. Okay, the next thing we're going to put on our face is blush, and it's, again, a cream product. I'm just going to use this one. It's, like, I think the only one I have down here, to be honest with you. I don't think I see any other cream. I think this is the only cream. Well, this one might be a cream from Timu. Let me look and see if it's a cream or not. Yeah, it is. I have this one, but it's very light, and then I have this pink one, so I'm just going to use the pink one. So, my blush, I usually put really high up. And up into here and the reason I and I know this looks crazy stay with me the reason I do this is because I always keep everything high and back high and back because that way 
you don't want anything drooping your face down. You want to bring it back. All right, next thing we do, because these are all cream, is we're just going to blend it all. I'm going to start with the foundation areas, because it's the kind of the lightest area. We're going to blend it into the skin. So you'll see, actually, I'm, gonna, I'm kind of impressed with this, like, foundation. And then we'll go down here to the contour area, contour area, blend in this bronzer around the forehead here, and then blush. And you can always go back in um, with more blush or with more bronzer or how, whatever, however you want to do it. So honestly, that <laughs> actually looks pretty decent. But like I said, you can always go back in with more. If you want a little bit more blush, I always keep my blush high and tight. High and tight. Because this will bring your face upward. I never put it here in the apples of my cheeks. Mainly because my face is already round. If you put... If you put your blush here, it's going to make your face look rounder. You need to put your blush on the... If you want to make your face look skinnier, you need to put your blush on the outside. Up in this area, right here. Right there. And I know you're thinking, dang, that's like into your forehead temple. Sometimes I even bring it into my eye area, so it kind of looks... Oh, like she has like a little bit of a suntan going on there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here's actually another kind of bronzing stick that came... These three came in a pack together. You got a bronzing stick, a blush, and then this highlighter. I'm going to go in with this bronzer stick and just do this. Whoa, that's dark. That's okay, though. This is where I would put my bronzer, just like that. Yeah, that's pretty dark, but we're just going to swirl that in there. And I know it looks crazy right now, but you have to blend, 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 blend. I actually like that. It looks really bad on camera. We're just going to keep blending. You just keep blending until you get the look that you want. I like to bring bronzer across here and here so that it kind of looks like, oh, she's she spent all day out in the sun. See that? Oh, yeah, she spent all day out there. Look at that girl. And bring it down. I need to get a tan so bad. Maybe a fake baked tan. Like, I'll use my fake tanner. Anyways, so yeah, this is what we're looking like. The bronzer is coming across a little bit orange on the camera, but it's it's not. It's just, I really, actually, this looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie. It actually looks pretty decent. Like, I'm looking in my mirror. It actually looks pretty decent. I look like I have a tan. That's kind of what I was going for. All right. Next, we are going to put on brows, I think. Um, I was maybe going to do a little bit of eyeshadow. Let's just try a little bit of an eyeshadow from... Timu that I have just for fun because why not, right? So I have a bunch of eyeshadow brushes from Timu. Um, literal tons. And actually, I might need that. Okay, I have all types of brushes. All types. These are all from Timu. They, they've, they feel really good. I love these ones for um, eyeliner. I do not usually wear a heavy, heavy eyeliner. Um... I try not to. Also, I have this white crayon from uh, Timu, and what I do with the white crayon is I put it in the waterline. So let's do that. It makes your eyes look bigger. Now you can use white, or you can use a nude color, but just like that, it's going to brighten up your eyes right away. Yeah, actually, this makeup does not look too bad, even in the mirror. It's very glowy, I will say that. It's very, very glowy. Okay. So I just put a little bit of white in, in my eyes. Next, let's just do a, sm actually, let's just do a smidge of eyeshadow. A literal smidge. So I have this palette from Timu. It's Sunset Beauty. Very neutral colors, a couple glitters. I'm not going to go glittery today. I'm going to do like something I would normally do every day, which honestly, I don't even wear eyeshadow every day. I just don't. Don't know why. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to take a fluffier brush because I want to get the most on my lid that I can. And I'm gonna go in with this color up here, which is very close to my skin tone. I'm gonna dab in there. I wanna just bring this up in here. I have a little, I don't say, I wouldn't say I have like hooded eyelids, but my eyelids, when I close them, they do droop down, you know what I'm saying? So when that happens, you wanna go above that area. That's where you're gonna get your color at, okay? So, that way, when I open my eye, you can still see the color. Does that make sense? So I actually like to put eyeshadow on with my eyes open. Because if I don't, 
and I go to close my eyes, it'll just disappear. <laughs> it disappears into thin air, okay? Oh my gosh, yes. It's lovely getting older, isn't it? Okay. Very simple so far. That's why I love quick, quick and easy makeup. Okay, so I want to take like a darker shade. Well, actually, let's do something kind of shimmery. So this, this color right here has a little wee tad bit of shimmer to it. I'm going to take a brush that, let me see if I have like a more flat brush, which if I don't, I'm just going to use my finger and I don't really see one. So if I like to, the shimmery shades, I kind of like to use with my finger. So I'm just going to take that shimmer shade on my finger, just like that. And I'm going to go right here, just along here, just to brighten that area up a bit. If you can hear the cat, he's getting into some packages down there. Just to kind of brighten the eye up right there. And then we are going to take a darker shade. And I need a more tighter brush for this. Let's see. That's kind of a tight brush right there. Look, at I got makeup on my hands. That's kind of a tighter, more stacked brush. I actually probably need a tighter one, but I don't. Oh, wait, here's maybe one. Here's like a little angle brush because I want to get the product on there first and then I'll blend it out. So I need a darker shade. Let's see. I think I'm going to go this one right here at the bottom. And I'm only going to put this in the... I don't want to get this everywhere, so here's the hoping. Just over here. I'm just getting it on the eye first. Just want to get it on the eye. And again, I normally do not wear eyeshadow but why not while we're here i know this looks crazy stay with me stay with me and it might look crazy at the end who knows because we're just trying these products out right the eyeshadow is great i'm i'm impressed with the eyeshadow okay super impressed a lot of pigment it's smooth it's it's you know it's going on really well okay now we're going to take a fluffier brush and blend this out and i mean fluffy well this one's kind of pretty fluffy Taking the fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend this in just so that it doesn't look like a big blob on my eyeball. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit. But mainly I'm just doing this. I wish I had my eyeshadow shields down here because this is kind of going to be a little bit of a mess. But we'll clean it up. We'll clean it up a little bit. <laughs> Sorry the cat's meowing. I'm in here kitties. They literally have a complete cow and they don't know where anybody is. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with my eyes. Except we are going to do lashes, but let me just kind of, in case there's any fallout under here, I'm going to take my, that brush. Guys, this makeup actually looks pretty decent. I'm not mad at anything yet. I'm not mad at any of this stuff yet, to be quite honest with you. Like, I'm looking in the mirror going, okay, I don't, I don't look that bad now. I know I usually don't wear eye makeup, so this is kind of different for me. Okay, next I'm going to do my brows. This is how I do my brows every single day. I buy, I've had this thing for forever from Timu. It's like a hair powder or a hairline powder, but I buy it usually in like a ash brown color. Or they have these um, little cups, pockets, I don't know, containers of like brow powder. It's either a brow powder or a hairline powder. And then you can buy these stencils. And I, you can buy packs of these on Timu for like a buck. And like, this is like a couple bucks or one of these is like a couple bucks. Very simple, very easy. This is how I do my brows. I do not have a brow brush down here. I wish I did. So I would like to comb my brows, but that's fine. It'll be fine. Everything's good. Okay. Super simple. This is going to change my entire look. <laughs> it, it really is. So I have a mirror right here. All right. I literally just line this up with my brow, so I'm going to take my little stamper, I'm going to put it in my powder and get pick up some powder. We're going to take the little stamper stencil, I line it up, I might have to bring you in, I might bring you in closer on a, when I edit this, but I line it up with my, exactly with my natural brow, okay? You line it up, you take your stamper, you literally just stamp the brow on like so, pull it away. Perfect brow, perfect brow, okay? And then I take usually take like a wet wipe or a makeup wipe and then like wipe the stencil off so when you turn it around, you know, I mean, honestly, I could never draw that on myself, guys, no. There is no way I could ever do that. 
in the history of ever. The thing with these stencils is you just flip them over to do the other side, you know, super simple. So I load my brush up again, or my dauber, or whatever you want to call it. Line it up with my natural brow. I actually had my brows microbladed once, and because my skin is so sensitive, I bled so much that the, the tattoo came out. <laughs> I spent like 400 bucks for nothing. So that's why I do this now. Okay, so that's it. Brows are on. Now I know they look a little wonky or they might look a little weird, but what you can do is you take a brush. I'm just going to take one of these because I don't have my, uh, my spoolie down here. And you just kind of flick through these like this and kind of just make it not look so, what do I want to say, so sharp in some spots, if you know what I mean. You can literally just take a brush and run, run it kind of through it. And that is it. That's all I do for my brows. This one is a little bit on the thick side down here, so, but that's still, that's really looks pretty dang good. I mean, and like I said, that takes me two seconds to put brows on and voila, right? Okay, what do we think so far? Not too bad, right? Not too bad at all. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do next? Um, I actually have some eyelashes from Timu. First off, let me tell you what I usually use on my eyelashes. This, I'm going to use this kit today. Oh, there's a spoolie in here and I didn't even know it. I'm going to use these. They're already pre-glued, but I'm going to tell you I've never used these. So if it's a complete fail the first time, don't hold that against these because I've never used them. I don't know how they work. I don't know where the glue's at on these. If you want to know what I normally wear, it would be these. These are on Amazon. I always get this style. It's called a sparkle style in the 16 millimeter. I like these because they're like a hybrid type of lash. So you'll see it's like short then long then short then long. And I only use three of these on one eye. So it's very, very cost effective to use these for me. And then I usually just get a lash bond glue like this one. Um, this is also from Amazon and this is the company name. Calais or something like that. But anyways, when you open this, it's just like a little wee tiny mascara wand with glue on it. Now, if these are a complete fail, which they very well might be, I might show you how I put these on one of my eyes just so you kind of know, okay? I'm hoping these work because honestly, if these work, I would probably wear more eyeshadow. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my mirror in closer so if you can see it, I'm sorry. I just, I'm going to, uh, Curl my lashes just a little bit because I will tell you I have very very short very blonde lashes I got a little bit of sometimes that eyebrow powder tends to get everywhere I have very blonde short eyelashes so I have to kind of curl them to be able to see them so we're just going to give them a little bit of a curl I hate using mascara I end up it gets in my eyes I hate it okay here we go this is this is the <laughs> Let me look at these things first. Let me see. Let me figure out where the glue is and everything. So th this kit I showed on a video before. Because some of the eyelashes like stuck to the inside of this here, which is kind of weird. So you get like three spoolies. You get a set of these tweezery things. And then here's all the lashes. And they supposedly already have glue on them. But, okay, we're going to try. We're going to try these. Now. I'm going to do these exactly how I do these. And the way I do those is I put them on the underside, under here, of my lashes. So, let's, um, let's do these kind of like one at a time. I'm going to take these tweezers and pull off like one. And I'm going to start at the outside and go in. Now, I don't know. Let me see this package and see. Are these different sizes or what? No, they all look the same. They all look the same size. So, I don't know how this is going to look, but... The other thing I feel like is probably going to be hard about these is pulling them off this tray. So I'm going to use these tweezers to like pull some off because I feel like when I pull them off, they're probably going to just rip. So you have to be like super careful when you rip them off. Yeah, you do. I think the cat, the cats are crying because they don't know where I am. Oh my gosh. Kermy. Here he comes. They don't know I'm down here. Isn't that funny? Okay, so what I did, I pulled four segments off. 
So you can see these segments. I pulled four of them off with my with these. And now I'm going to try and put them on underneath. And like I said, I don't I've never used these before, so I don't know how they're going to work. Um they might glue my eyes together. I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit concerned because I've never used them and I don't know how the glue is going to be. Okay. So, what I do, I hold the lash right like this, go underneath Ooh, okay, okay. And then I clamp them down. This is a little bit hard. I can see it though. Yeah, see it's it's almost like it's got blue glue on both sides. Blue, yeah. It's like it's got glue on both sides, so it's like it kind of wants to stick to this. But there's one. Let's see if we can get four of them on. These are a little bit weird. Because like I said, it looks like they have glue on both sides. Well, how is that gonna work? It's working, kind of. Are they usable? Yes. Do I like that they have glue on both sides? No, because when I shut my eyes, they're going to glue together. You know what I mean? Okay, number four, last one. All right, let me just kind of see how, see how they stick. Yeah, I don't know if these are going to work, guys. I don't understand why they put glue on both sides. Why would you put glue on both sides? I don't, I don't understand that. And now they're sticking to my, yeah, I don't, I don't understand that at all. We might, I might show you how to do with the other ones on the other side. The ones I usually use. Yeah, I, these are just very hard to use. I don't understand that. If you're a first timer at this, don't, don't get this. I'm just going to tell you right now. Don't, don't even bother because you're going to be so, like, they just want to stick to the thing. Mmm. I just don't understand why they have glue on both sides. Do they want them to, you to stick them here? No, guys, these are a mess. Absolutely not. They're, you're you're gonna hate yourself, but even just trying to get these on. At first, I thought maybe, but mm -mm. They, I just don't understand why they would glue the top and bottom. You're, gonna, you're they're gonna stick together. Okay, what I'm gonna do instead is show you the stuff I usually use. I will link those products down below too. Again, not affiliated. I don't make anything off of this stuff at all. And I will link below too when the eyelash tutorial starts. You have to, if someone doesn't want to watch the whole way through, they don't have to. Okay, so what you need for these lashes that I usually use, which are this brand, Easy Tension or something like that. Easy Tension, these are on Amazon. I get the style Sparkle 16mm, which are these. I will link them down below. I get any lash bond glue will work. I'm not picky about the lash bond glue. That's no big deal. You'll need a set of these tweezers and a set of the eyelash tweezers. And what I do first is I pull my segments off with these tweezers because if you go to pull them off with the other pair, they'll rip right off. So I just pull them off of this package. They will come off. It takes a little bit of work because they are glued on there. And honestly, you don't need glue on the lashes. That's why that, I don't understand why that thing had glue on it. Anyway, so once you pull them off and there's a little bit of glue, see how they're sticking? I usually just take them and kind of scrape them along the side and it'll get that glue off. So now what you're left with is three, I only use three segments per eye and that's it. Literally, that's it. And this whole thing, I think, costs like seven bucks. And these last me about a week. If if they will last a week, if you do not wash them, which that's usually why I don't wear eyeshadow because I have plenty of lipstick on. What the heck? Hold on, everybody. Let's just throw a little lip gloss on. Not really the best color, but that's okay. I take these. Well, actually, what you have to do first is you have to put the glue on underneath. The underside of your lashes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try and bring this in when I edit it. And I have, you have got to have one of these mirrors. You need a mirror, a magnification mirror for sure. Because if you can see right under here, under your, under your lash line, I have an eyelash on my skin. If you can see under here, this is going to be so much easier. Okay. So much easier. So, all right. I have my lash segment sitting down here. I'm going to take this lash glue and this won't dry right away so don't don't worry about like hurrying up and doing it actually it's better if you kind of let it sit and get tacky but i am going to put this right under underneath my lash line right and just a little bit you just need to use a little dab of this along the bottom of the lash line underneath on the underside 
okay? Now, I'm gonna take my lash segments, and again, I only use three of these. Here's one, there's one of them. I come underneath, put one there, and these, these, these eyelash, okay. These are sticky, and these got sticky because of those last lashes, so I'm gonna wipe them off, and we're gonna go in again. If you're, if the, if you're, pliers, yeah. If you're, <laughs> I want I almost called them pliers. Oh my gosh. If your tweezers get sticky, wipe them off, because that will hinder you. You go right underneath, just like that. We're gonna do number two here, so that they don't really overlap, but they kind of just line up, just like that. And then number three, just like that. Very easy and simple. I got all three of them on. Now I take my tweezers and I kind of clamp them down where the glue is so that the glue and the la my lashes kind of all come together, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I'm just clamping, clamping, clamping. There you go. That is how I do my lashes every week. I always do them like every Sunday usually. Um, today's not Sunday, but I wanted to do this video, but that's what they look like. Hopefully you can see what they look like. So there you go. Yeah. I don't recommend these ones because these Timu ones, the pre-glued, because I don't understand why they had the glue on the top and bottom. Well, you can't, they'll stick to everything then. These ones don't have any glue on them at all. There's no glue on these at all. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do the other eye while we're, while we're sitting here. So again, I'm going to pull off three segments. You just take these tweezers, the ones that don't have the pointier end, and you just pull them off the plastic. There's a very teensy, teensy, tiny bit of glue that just holds them onto the plastic. And we're going to do the same thing to this eye. I'm going to go underneath on the underside of my lashes. And guys, this literally takes five minutes. And when I shower all week, or when I take a bath or whatever, I just skip my eyes. I try and like wash around these so that they last longer. Ooh, that was a lot of glue. Okay. If you do that, these will last about a week, okay? And that's a heck of a lot better than going to the salon and having someone do them. Because I will tell you that whenever I go to the salon to have anything done, I don't even go anymore. I'm my own salon, I'm my own girl spa because I don't like when things last forever. Like it makes me wanna pick them off. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, those lashes are on there. Yeah, I kinda don't want them there. You know, like if you get like nails on or, or lashes on and you don't like them then what then you're stuck with them for forever you know at least these you know they're going to come off if you want them to if you want to take these off sooner and now i'm just kind of clamping them like i did before see how fast that was super easy and i will tell you that i've never been a lash guru like i've never ever ever in my entire life been good at putting on those like strip lashes no i'm not that girl i'm not that girl that i'm horrible at that so this is literally the way I do lashes every single week, once a week, and this is how I do them. Yeah. So, okay, let's see how the makeup, the makeup does not look bad. I am not mad at it. Okay. I am not mad at this makeup at all. I'm not mad at it at all. Honestly, like I feel like it's a little bit on the shiny side, but I like to look kind of like that glowy fresh look. You know what I mean? Like I don't like a matte look anymore. Um, the good thing about cream makeup, again, is that if you, ha and again, for my mature girls, because that's me, I have lines. Look, I have lines in my forehead. I have lines over here, lines under my eyes, lines here. It'll not, it, it doesn't bunch up there and look tacky and sticky and all of that. This is m a much better look for when you do cream makeup. I promise. I swear. Okay, guys. <laughs> Let me take this bow off and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, that was my Timu, get ready with me. Also, this is a wig that I got from Chelsea Smith Cosmetics. The style is called Carrie. So if you're wanting to know what it is, that's what it is. I actually have bought several of these because I like the style. It's a little bit dark in the root area, but I found a way to lighten this up and we will go over that sometime too, okay? We will talk about wigs sometime. I'm getting, I would like to do a Timu wig haul a tutorial on how to make them look more natural i guess because sometimes the roots too dark this parting space is really kind of jacked up honestly i'm wearing this to the side because i like a side part this is actually a middle part wig but you can always shift the wig 
That's another tip, I guess. Wow, I'm full of tips, ain't I? No. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and spend a little bit of girl time, spa day time, Timu beauty time with me. I really appreciate it. Again, this is not sponsored. I spent my money, my own money on all of this. I hope you enjoyed it. I will try and link some things down below that I liked. Again, I'm not mad at this look at all. I'm not mad at, I mean, honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I'm like super impressed with this item. Um, it matched my skin really, really well. Um, the contours are really nice. Overall, I think if you read the reviews on Timu to see uh, what other people are saying about the product, then you're probably going to get a better idea. Um, again, the matching is probably the hardest thing. Uh, so yeah. And then this, this palette's actually really, I mean, the, the pigment's really good in it. I'm impressed with it too. The only thing I didn't like were the lashes, really. The rest is actually pretty daggone good. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being a subscriber and leaving comments. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!